Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to my SimCity video tutorials. I'm going to continue on with my Emerald Empire city, my second city in this new region, my university city which is soon going to have processor plants and computer and TV production plants which are going to allow this city to create a hell of a lot of profit, but also a hell of a lot of air pollution. For the moment I only have a community college in this city, but it was enough to create tech level 2 industry buildings and they have unlocked the processor factory for me. Now I can choose to destroy all these, these industry buildings so that they will not be producing so much air pollution and ground pollution, even though the air pollution is going outside my city, but it's still going to hurt the region. So I would like to destroy them as soon as possible, but since I'm going to just exchange them for a processor factory, which also creates a lot of pollution, there really is no point in hurrying that up and destroying these when I'm going to pollute anyway with my processor factory. Now to have a processor factory, I'm going to have to have a lot more workers. At the moment I do have some unemployed that are even commuting out to my second city, while I have a lack of high wealth which are commuting in from the first city. So before I can go and build these processor factories and start racking in some serious simulants, I will first have to wait for my city to go up to medium density. If I take a look at my happiness levels, I can see that in the middle section where I have my high vault, they have already reached very high happiness levels and they will soon even be able to go to medium density. As for the medium wealth, I seem to have some black ships, or should I call them red ships, and they seem to be very unhappy with me. Let's see. Out of money. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Out of money. Out of money. Goodbye. 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 And goodbye. Oh, what did you say? You needed more parks. Well, why didn't you say sooner? Let's see about getting these guys some parks. Now, as you can see, my setup is a bit strange, so it's going to be hard to place parks in order for them not to intervene with any buildings going to medium density. So I have to really go block by block and see exactly where I can plant those medium wealth parks, because as you can see, this neighborhood needs some parks. Any medium welts that do not have access to parks are not gonna be so happy and not gonna go to medium density as fast as I need them to. So I should spend some time building up those parks. I'm going to start from here. As you can see, I have left zoned only the parts where I'm actually going to have the medium density exits and entrances or those buildings. So that is also the side of the street where I need to put my parks. As we can see here, there's no room for a park. If you go over here, this is going to be medium wealth, medium density shop later on, so this space has to be reserved. And now, if I look here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six homes. This means that this can most likely be enough space for two medium wealth, medium density buildings. So, for the moment, I will have to leave this place without a park because I'm not sure whether it is going to be enough space if I add a park for two medium density buildings to be built here. So moving on, this neighborhood has this park over here so I will not be touching anything. If I want a medium shop here later on at medium density I'm probably going to have to remove this home which is saying that there are no parks even though a park is down the street. Yes, very smart of you. Moving on, over here I have three homes and then I have this rounded corner. I think I'm going to place another park again on this rounded corner. There we go. Some homes here which are going to be changing to medium density, medium wealth commercial. And on the right we have four homes which is more than enough space for another, another medium density building. So I could steal a little bit of this space and create another park. Now an easy way to keep your disgruntled sims away from your city is to simply bulldoze their homes and send them off packing. You can use this happiness map to see which sims are not happy and just bulldoze their homes and wait for new sims to move in. Over here I have a small overlap of 
medium wealth because of these parks that I have added recently and I get medium homes instead of low wealth homes. Now this can be fixed by just unzoning before a home can go up to medium wealth, just like that. If I take a look at my utilities I can see that I'm buying only 5 megawatts out of 24 so plenty more to buy, water a lot more to buy, same with the sewage so no worries about the utilities. When it comes to garbage, I have enough garbage being picked up by my recycling trucks and the trash is being picked up by the neighboring city so no worries there. My recycling center has almost been filled more than half full with the recyclables so soon I will be turning on my LA reclamation and plastic reclamation line and turning those recyclables into something useful. Now we could use this opportunity to look at the traffic in my city. It is 6 a.m. and should be the rush hour at the moment and soon the college will have its students coming in so we can see where the traffic jams are going to be happening. We can use one of the overlays to see just how are these students coming into my city. You can see an interesting trend since they are unable to go into the college from the left side of the street but only from the right side they all are going to this intersection from which they can use the right side to go into the college. That means I am going to have the same problem once I get the university. But an upside of the university is that it has those footpaths which means that the citizens who are going to be coming into the university might actually use those footpaths and go on foot to the university instead of having to drive on to a single street and then go into the parking lot. As for the other parts of the city I seem to have some pileups here and also here oh okay this is just because of the fire truck. Clear the way and that appears to be it. Let's see the population overlay. You can see a lot of people are going on foot between their jobs and their shopping, so that is very good, which means that not too many of them are using cars and therefore reducing the stress on my roads. Now we seem to be experiencing some issues here with going to medium density for this high wealth home has turned into a low wealth medium density home. Now this is most likely only because of the lack of space for it to move up to medium density. So what I will do is destroy this home here, destroy all of these and see if that helps. There we go, that definitely helped. There we go, number two. These two seem to be ready to go up as well. So I will be expanding this and destroying this. Now I should be able to have three more buildings right here. Now this can usually fight you for the space so you have to have patience and be a little bit thick headed yourself in order to make them build exactly as you want them to build. There we go. One, two, three. You can see it just turned into a medium density building. So you have to, if you want to micromanage it like I like to, you have to spend some time doing it. Up here we have another one. Over here we seem to have failed to get a building. Now we could try and see what happens if I give it some more space like this. But somehow I doubt that it's going to be able to go all the way up to medium density. We'll see soon enough.
like I said, you sometimes simply have to go and do it manually to make sure that they are going to build exactly what you want them to build. There does not appear to be enough space here for three buildings because for whatever reason he can't really build it on this edge. I could try to fix it myself though. Let's see if this works. Okay. Now you guys. And you guys. Oh, well, this appears to be possible, but we'll see how it looks like by the end. Now let's take a look at my population. I now have far more high belt workers, but it seems still not enough. I should also take a look at the medium ones. Uh, they seem to have become very unhappy of me. They seem to be very unhappy. A lot of them said that they are out of money. Huh, you wanna build something like that, do you? No, I will not allow it. When a building refuses to go to medium density of the wealth level that you require, you can sometimes simply dezone it, leave it at low density, wait for it to go up to maximum happiness and then once it gets there, just zone it again and it should go up to the required wealth level. I seem to be having a similar issue here. So I will have to use the same solution. Very nice. Not enough room. I'll give you room. Let's see up here what do we have. They may soon go up to medium density. These guys here. Their happiness seems to have reset since I bulldozed them, so I have to wait a while for it to go up. They seem to be saying that there isn't enough shopping. But my shops have yet to gain enough happiness to go up to medium density, so there's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Now it would appear that my college is having a hard time keeping enough students per day for it to unlock the university. In order to speed up the process, I am going to build the grade school and place bus stops, school bus stops on these low wealth because they seem to be the ones having the hardest time being educated and that should increase the number of educated quite quickly. I will place the grade school right next to the community college. Now this should help me have enough students per day in order to unlock the university. I seem to be down to 1199 kids, while well, I need 1200 educated so I am going to need a few more kids to be living in this city. I can probably fix that problem by zoning a few more of these residentials and have them turn into homes. Now I have some of the first shops going to medium density and I should be ready enough with medium wealth homes as well to go to medium density. So I need to first follow my strict rules of placing the medium wealth shops on these edges and then expanding just enough for them to become medium density. Once the shops are set up, I can raise the medium wealth homes up to medium density in the space that remains for them. 
as I look at my happiness overview, I can see that now a huge number of my medium homes are at 21 happiness, which means that they can go up to medium density. Now, I have to be very careful at just how many I move up to medium density because I do not wish to have a huge flood and then be unable to provide them with jobs. So I will be upgrading these streets from low density streets to medium density streets slowly one neighborhood at a time and seeing just how many buildings am I going to create. I have now gained the mission to build the university from the city hall which is going to give me a nice amount of money once I build it. I have students at the university, I just need to go through this limit of 1200 students per day. Now here you can see that some of these buildings have finally started going to medium density. First it is the shops that I need to give them, I need to give them more room so that I have medium density medium wealth shops between these medium density medium wealth homes. Now this is what I was talking about when I said that three medium wealth low density buildings do not actually equal to a medium density medium wealth home every time. So you can see it was only two and a half medium wealth low density homes that made this medium wealth medium density building and I have this small piece here remaining. So I am going to bulldoze it. I could perhaps even make a bigger park than this one right here or I could just upgrade it with an additional one. I can upgrade this road to medium density and since these homes were already saying that they just need a road upgrade to go up to medium density. I will now dezone this home here and leave them enough space to be building the medium density home up here while this space I wish to leave for a bigger shop. And there we go. This building has reached almost to the end of the street. Now what I can do is add a park here or simply just leave this one home here. Since there is enough room for a park and a home, I will just add a park here while still, still leaving this home right here. Shops can be notoriously hard, especially the medium wealth ones to go to medium density. Sometimes you can just leave it and let some time pass and they will build themselves up just like this one did just now. Now this shop has just managed to go to medium density which means it just needs more space in order for it to become medium wealth medium density. There we go. Another medium density, medium wealth shop. This building is now a medium wealth, medium density building and has used all the space that was taken by three low density medium homes. As I said previously, there are some of these buildings that will take two and a half and there are some that will take three entire low density medium wealth homes in order to go to medium density. So that is why it is so notoriously hard to zone precisely the size of buildings that you want in SimCity because not only are there different sizes of buildings between the wealth levels but also inside each wealth level. Now I will also be needing enough space for this shop to go up to its own medium density. So I will be dezoning this home and expanding the commercial zone. Since here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 homes that are medium wealth I am 100% going to have more than enough room for, for two medium density medium wealth buildings which means that I can use this space here and half of this home for a placement of a park. You can see now on the education map that my low wealth 
citizens are far more educated than they were a few days ago before I built the grade school and also my number of students enrolled has almost doubled. So I should in no time gain up to 1200 students and be able to build the university. This building has now also expanded right next to the park and so I just need to wait for one more building to expand to medium density here. On this side these guys seem to have a problem getting the last few happiness level necessary so I will need to upgrade some other street in order to gain new medium wealth buildings. And we're going to take a look up here and see which can go up to medium density. It would appear these guys can go up to medium density. Yep, they are ready, they just need to upgrade. So I will upgrade this to medium. Expand this all the way to the edge. I also need this shop to expand, so I need to give it some more space. It may be possible to have two medium density buildings here if I were to just move this park a little bit more to the left. I will also be turning it up so that these homes that are on the upper side of the street can benefit from it. There we go, one home. And these guys here should be able to make another one. Let's see what other street we could upgrade. These guys are close but not close enough. I think these guys are ready to go to higher density. So I'm going to upgrade this piece of road here and just see what happens. I should be able to build at least one medium wealth building here. Then the rest should be enough space for this shop to go to medium density and then probably one or two more buildings here and then again a shop. At this point I'm probably going to need more than just two police cars so I'm going to add two more police cars to my city. My recycling center is now full so I'm going to turn on my plastic and alloy reclamation lines for them to start converting this. Since I am starting that operation up I will need to make a trade depot which is going to pick up those recyclables. So for now I'm going to use this pot right here. So my trade depot get plastic storage lots and LA storage lots. I can leave the freight shipping warehouse because, because these buildings are probably going to be far happier with having somewhere to ship their freight and they seem to be shipping it already. For some reason my criminal community has decided to have a crime spree and now I have 14 local criminals in this city in which I previously have only a few so I may even need to go up to six police cars in order to catch all these criminals. I'm also going to have to upgrade my jail cells in order to accommodate all these criminals for their long long sentences of five to ten days for <laughs> as they seem to be released very soon into the city once they are re-educated. It is interesting to note that a police station that has been placed in a high land value will actually decrease that high land value even though it is giving off medium land value by itself. So once you have upgraded the police station you may end up eroding your high land value just as I have here. It 
can probably be easily fixed with an additional park or two so it's nothing to worry about but it is something to keep in mind when using a setup like mine where I am placing my, my city service buildings inside of these high wealth land value neighborhoods. This shop here seems to be ready for an upgrade so I will upgrade the road to medium density and hopefully this sh should be enough space for the shop to go up to medium density. Here another medium wealth medium density building is going up and as far as I can see right here I will have enough space for this shop to go to to go to medium density while using the remaining space for a new park. I will first wait for the shop to go up to medium density so that I can see just how much space is going to be left and see which size of the park I'm going to place here. And here we have another fine example of going to medium density without too much difficulty. I have now another medium density medium weld building, next to it a medium density medium weld, weld shop and I am left with enough space to build a nice park. On this spot here I should have just enough space for another building to go up to medium density. Now you might ask yourself, so what am I going to do with this remaining little space here? Well here's an idea, pause the game, delete the road, place the road again to that edge. Now you may need to upgrade this road up to medium density as well so that you can connect without getting any errors and now you just put the road as close to this medium weld building without actually touching it. Now you have stolen a little bit of space for this side and for this commercial building. You should remember that a low density medium weld home is as wide of a zone as a medium density low weld home. So you should unzone these small houses if you do not wish for them to turn into medium density low weld. Or here you can see that this medium home has expanded but has not left enough room for this shop to go to medium density. So I'll be bulldozing this building here and dezoning the small piece here adding another commercial zone which should allow enough space for it to go to medium density and as you can see the home has been moved to the side while well, this should be enough space for this building to become medium density medium wealth commercial later on. Up here it seems I, it needs my personal touch once again so I need to look at just where I'm going to have which building. As you can see this building requires this little bit of a piece here in order for it to go up to higher density. So it will need more commercial right here. From this building onto the left side I could place a park here and there should be just enough space for this commercial to go up to medium density. Then from this edge here I can have the next medium weld medium density building and hopefully that might leave enough space for another one to be placed here once only this part here gets taken up by this building. So I will have to destroy these medium homes on the that are on the backs of these housings and see exactly what will come out of this. Very good, commercial expanded, residential expanded and once this building here expands to medium density I should have enough space here for a nice park. These homes here seem to be able to go to, to 
medium density now, so I'm going to upgrade their, their street and they should be able to build me a new medium density building here. And there it is. Very good. And there seems to be even enough space here for at least a small park. There we go. And the school day has ended, but I have missed the mark by 17 students. I guess I'll have to wait up until tomorrow. I'm going to turn off the school because it's really eating up my profits. Over here we can see that this high vault shop has enough happiness to go to medium density, but it will require more space for it to go. To medium density so I will provide that space by destroying this building here and allowing it to go up to medium density and there you have it a medium density high vault shop up here you can see that this shop has gone up but it has left quite a lot of space on both of its sides now hopefully one of these sides should be big enough for a medium wealth home and it is so I can use the other side for a small park I will also put a home on the other side of the street if it is possible. Nope, only a low, low well home, so I'll be destroying that one. Now you will notice my city is kinda burning down, this is because I was hit by a meteor strike and <laughs> luckily or unluckily it hit the middle of the town while I was AFK and it doesn't seem to have done much damage, only increased the amount of fires raging in my city. I have upgraded my fire station with my one more fire truck just for this emergency. Now to move on to other subjects, I seem to have unfilled low well jobs. I need to get more of those workers because some of these factories have gone up to medium density. So in order to make sure that I have enough workers, I will also need to be upgrading these low well neighborhoods. First things first, I need to choose exactly where are these guys going to be turned onto. If I start up here, I can see that there's not going to be any medium density built here. So I can have my first medium density built up onto this upper street. That means I'll be dezoning every lower street. I'll be doing the same thing on the neighborhood on the right side. There will be no medium density here, which means that the medium density entrances and exits for these buildings are going to be on this side of the street, which means I will be dezoning the underside of these streets. I will only be upgrading some of them up to medium density. I will start with streets furthest away from the city entrance, so I do not create a traffic jam up there. This part of the neighborhood I will most likely be deleting in order to have more space for my, my processor and computer factory, so I will not be upgrading this part at all, but my first medium street is going to be here. Let's say second here, while well, this side street has to be upgraded to medium density all the way up. Same thing on this other side, I need to save this space for maybe some factories, so I will be going up and upgrading to medium density in this street, while the side street is going to go to medium street so that it can handle the increase in traffic.
I also have to keep in mind that this city is buying its utilities from the first city and there isn't that much power to be bought. There's only about 24 free megawatts of which I'm already using 13.8. So if I go to medium density with too many buildings too fast, I'm going to run out of power. So what I need to do is to get just enough medium density buildings so that I have enough students to unlock the university. And once I unlock the university, I have to build it and research the concentrated solar arrays. It is only once I have research those can I start going to medium density in the entire city and also building the processor factories. Now my population has grown quite considerably but I still lack the low wealth workers as do I lack the high wealth workers. Now as for the high wealth I am expecting some of these buildings to go to medium density but they seem to be taking their sweet time. The good thing is there are a few of these high wealth homes that are at medium density but ready to go to high density. So in order to get those workers in a quick way I am going to be going to high density with some of these high wealth buildings. But before I upgrade my avenue to an high density avenue I am going to dezone so that I do not make too many high density buildings. So let's see which buildings are ready to go to higher density. We seem to have a candidate right here, so let's go and upgrade the avenue to a high density avenue and give it the requested zone. Now these weird pieces that are created when these buildings are plopped on these corners can really be, be hard to get upgraded to higher density but as you saw I was lucky enough for this building to be able to be plopped on this corner. Now it is going to go up to high density and I will have a lot more of these high volt workers but I will obviously need one more. I'll be upgrading this avenue here in order to get another high density high wealth building. I have turned off the extra fire truck because I no longer have that many fires in my city and I have also turned off the extra cells because I no longer have so many criminals in my jail. Now after a long while I have finally enough students that I have unlocked the university. I will close down the community college and my school and I will be bulldozing the community college and the grade school. Instead I'm now going to have a university. I'm going to plop it here so that there is more space for cars to line up coming in from this side. I want to leave enough room here for any additional modules for the university. Here we go. University plopped, start research project, concentrate solar arrays. It requires a school of science. A school of science requires for me to have 1000 students per day in order to upgrade the university to level 2. I should have that covered in no time since I have over 1400 students. Now I can go and hunt down those school bus stops and pull those those as well. If I add a dormitory to the university, I'm going to get a lot of cash, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. There we go, dormitory placed. And I receive 40,000. I seem to have a mission at the university for higher education. Aha, 
that's the mission where I just have to have a few students coming in and graduating. Now as I do have 23,000 people and I have mass transit in place, I should add some more of these bus stops. Now as you can see I've just finished this mission and scored 50,000. My university is up to 800 students. It will most likely go even higher. Now a tricky thing about having the university in the middle of the high wealth land value area is that if you place a bus stop in front of the university you're going to ruin that high wealth land value. Now it can turn into quite a bit of a problem. You can fix it if you add another park, but it isn't something you wish to do. So it is a good question how much this bus stop is actually going to reduce the traffic coming into the university. You can play with it a little bit and see if it helps or not, and then remove it if it's not actually helping. Now since this land area here is not going to allow for any more high wealth buildings unless I add another park, I am going to do exactly that and add a small park right about here. Now you see the problem is propagating and now some of these buildings may end up as high wealth. I will have to keep an eye on that. So as you can see even a small insignificant thing like placing a bus stop can change quite well in your city and have lasting consequences on the other neighborhoods. Now I am successfully upgrading this neighborhood as well and I even have enough space here for a nice park. see has my university upgraded? Yes it has! Upgrade! And now start the concentrated solar array research. But first of course the school of science. School of science can go well let's say we put it about here. And I just made the terrible mistake. I should have actually put it on these footpaths. Okay, gonna have to delete that. Quite a costly mistake. Probably should have done the same thing with the dormitories, even though I don't know why it wasn't done automatically, but fine. Now I have the School of Science and I can start the concentrated solar array research. I have filled up on the recyclables once again and again I'm going to turn on the plastic and alloy production lines. I am also going to add another production line of, for alloy as I seem to have reached a lot of recycling bins collected per day. It seems I should upgrade my capacity for more alloy. I'll destroy this freight shipping warehouse for a plastic warehouse. I do have some more unemployment, but I also have a lot of requests for shops for low wealth, so I may actually need to add some more shops for them. Having one shop on this stretch of road does not seem to be enough. And as you can see their happiness is not going up very quickly, which means that they really need those shops. So I should add a few.
Now I believe that this video has gone on long enough so I'm going to stop here. I have shown you my development from low density to medium density, even some high density buildings. I have gotten my university up and running. My Consider Solar research will be going at a snail pace probably for quite a while. So until I finish this research I will not be making another video in this city because only once I finish this research solar power station and place a lot of these constructed solar arrays in order to increase the amount of power available to me in the city, I will not be building any